Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And also, if you're interested in more in-depth information, like the potential for severe thunderstorms as we move into spring, and also some tropical information, let's say some data on just how quickly a tropical storm is going to intensify, Definitely check out the Premium Consulting Membership. Now, none of that's happening immediately, but just something to keep in the back of your mind. Talking about immediately, what's immediately happening is a cool off of our temperatures after we warmed up a bit throughout the afternoon and evening yesterday, although it was kind of raw out uh, with periods of rain and some very heavy rainfall uh, late uh, last night. Now our temperatures are falling off as our storm is leaving with a nice northwesterly to westerly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures falling off into the mid-20s over the Catskills and the Poconos. Along the coast, they range from the mid to upper 30s. The good news is that the rain is done. And even better news, if you are kind of done with the snow, then this is great news. We're going to be warming up. If you're looking for snowfall in this forecast, unfortunately, well, uh, it's not going to be the best forecast for you. Now, this low pressure system is exiting. That was producing all the rainfall overnight. Now we have a cold front that is going to be swinging through today with just a few scattered clouds, nothing of a uh, threat for precipitation. On our infrared satellite picture, you can see that heavy rainfall exiting out and clearing skies on the way but we're going to have a series of cold fronts that are going to be marching through throughout this week that's going to introduce a pacific air mass that means air masses are coming from the pacific rather than northern canada and that leads to a steady moderation or warm-up in our temperatures as we move forward over the next couple of days so let's dive into this forecast for today Sky cloud cover is expected with temperatures rebounding into the lower 30s over the northern interior and mid 40s along the coast. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for clear skies, light winds, temperatures falling off into the lower teens over the interior, mid 20s along the coast. And for tomorrow afternoon, look for sky cloud cover with high temperatures rebounding into the lower to mid 40s. Now on Thursday, we're going to have a weak trough swing on through, and that's going to produce the threat for a few isolated showers, but nothing of significance in terms of heavy precipitation or anything of that nature. We're going to look at low temperatures in the upper 20s to mid 30s, high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. On Friday, sky cloud cover and dry conditions are expected with Low temperatures ranging from the lower 20s over the interior to the upper 20s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower 40s over the interior to the upper 40s to lower 50s in the Delaware River Valley, mid 40s right along the coast. On Saturday, ahead of this cold front, it's actually going to get pretty warm. Temperatures on Saturday will range from the upper 30s to lower 40s for lows. High temperatures will range from the mid-40s over the interior, lower to mid-50s along the coast, but in the Delaware River Valley, say Trenton, Philadelphia, looking at temperatures ranging anywhere from the mid-50s to the lower 60s. Yep, we get enough sunshine, we could actually break 60 degrees. And then that cold front blows through and smacks you right in the face with Arctic air returning. Could see a few flurries and temperatures plummet into the lower teens over the interior to the upper 20s along the coast high temperatures on sunday in the lower 20s for lows i mean for lower 20s for the interior and lower 30s along the coast for highs so it'll be a good day to stay in and i don't know maybe watch a football game or something i heard there's a big game on sometime uh, on sunday so probably good to stay in because it's going to be cold now on monday we have that low pressure system. I remember what I was talking about yesterday where I had some doubts in the way that it was portraying the low pressure system. I thought it was going to be suppressed further off to the east. And that's essentially where the models have trended to. And so we're going to be watching out for a few flurries, but that's about it on Monday with low temperatures in the single digits over the interior to the lower teens along the coast. High temperatures in the upper teens 
over the interior to the mid 20s along the coast. So the Arctic air is holding on strong, but starts to give way on Tuesday with some moderating conditions. Our low temperatures are still going to be very cold with lows in the single digits throughout the region. But high temperatures will start to rebound into the upper teens to lower 20s over the interior and lower to mid 20s along the coast. And then from here on out, we moderate into the rest of the week as a high pressure system shifts off the coast. So no major storms and a bit of a roller coaster with our temperatures. But we do see a pretty nice warm up for the rest of this week until we get to about Sunday. Have a wonderful day and as always, stay safe out there.